I'm Teresa Jackson. Today I'm going to show you how I use Adobe Bridge to double check the metadata of my images before I share them online or with others. Metadata is the information written inside of a file. When I import images into Lightroom, I add copyright metadata. If all goes well, this metadata is retained in the exported JPEGs. At a minimum, the metadata should include my name, my email address, and my copyright information. Let's see how Bridge can easily read and edit the metadata. I've got a set of zoo images here that were edited in Lightroom and then exported from Lightroom. I'm viewing them here in Adobe Bridge in the Filmstrip workspace. If you don't see all of these workspaces like I have listed across the top here, it's possible that that's just tucked in. I don't even know what the purpose of that is, but if you don't see these, you can grab on that little vertical line and pull this out and you'll see the rest of them. So film strips highlighted. I like film strip a lot because I can toggle through my images and get a nice big preview of them. But in the film strip uh, mode here, we can't see the metadata. So the quickest and easiest way to get there is to just switch from film strip to essentials. When you switch to the essentials workspace, you um, get metadata panels down the right hand side and it can be a little intimidating because there's so many fields here. The section that we're most interested in is the one that says IPTC core. Let's uh, start back in the beginning here. I'm going to take my thumbnails up so we get nice big previews here. And for the rhinoceros we have um, the camera data. We can see the f-stop shutter speed and ISO that this was shot at. And in the file properties panel, we can see all the information about the pixel dimension and the color profile, the name of the um, file, the application that created it. Let's take a look at the, um, the giraffe. The same thing. Let's close this up because what I'm most interested in is this IPTC core. And you can see on this image that all, a lot of my data is in here, my name, the city that I live in, my email, and my website, and it even has some keywords. And let's go back to the rhinoceros. It has keywords as well, but they're different because it's a different animal. Let's switch to the bird here. So the bird has um, all of the copyright metadata, but it doesn't have any keywords. And that's probably because I failed to add keywords when I imported it into Lightroom. But the bigger problem with this image is that it's at the wrong size. It's only 600 by 600 and I want a larger file than that. So for this one, I would need to go back to Lightroom to fix it. Let's go down to the, um, the gorilla here, same thing. This image is too small. This copyright data is fine with me, even though it doesn't have my city and state. It's most important that it has my name, my email address, and my web. So let's go to the lion. This one looks good. It's a little bit smaller, but 1200 pixels is probably fine. And this one is the right size, but it's missing the important information. And the really cool thing about Bridge is that I can fix that right here. I don't have to go back to Lightroom. Assuming that I've got the right size file, I can just click in this field and I can type in my name and that will add that metadata to the image. If I come down here and click in the email, I can add my email address. And it would help if I had a shorter email address, it'd be easier to type. And if that, I then hit my inner key, it will apply the new metadata to that image. And one last thing, at this place, in, at this point in Bridge, if you want to add titles to your images, this is a great place to do it. You can come right down here where it says title, and I can call this a flamingo. Now, if I upload these images to a site that honors metadata, like 500 pixels or Google+, all of this information will be viewable to my fans that come and look at my images. I hope you find this helpful. See you next time.